Ever heard of Sheryl Sandberg? She's not just a billionaire, yes, with a big dollar sign, but she's the powerhouse behind Facebook's operations. What's her secret sauce? Well, she's been a rock star in every job she's tackled, growing companies like nobody's business. But here's the real deal. It's not just about being an entrepreneur. Cheryl's journey shows that you can thrive by climbing the corporate ladder too. Intrigued? Stick around. We're diving into how her mindset, her books, and global programs made her a superstar. And guess what? It's not just about making money. It's about finding joy in what you do while stacking up doses. Let's explore why joining growth-based companies and embracing that intrapreneurial spirit might just be your ticket to career success. Ready to learn more? Hit that subscribe button and join us for the full scoop. Intrapreneurship. Intrapreneurship is a bit like being a super-powered employee. Instead of just clocking in and out, entrepreneurs are like undercover entrepreneurs in their workplace. They're the ones who don't settle for the bare minimum. They're self-starters, always eager to take on new challenges, and they think outside the usual work box. Imagine your job is a puzzle and everyone's given the pieces to complete it. Intrapreneurs not only put their pieces together, but also find extra ones to make the puzzle bigger and better. Now there's this idea that just thinking about something will make it happen. Sure, having big ideas is awesome, but without putting in the effort and sweat, those ideas won't take flight. That's the truth we can't ignore. See, if you stick only to what's written in your job description, it's like driving with the handbrake on. You won't zoom ahead, grab exciting promotions, or see your paycheck skyrocket. But here's the kicker. When you change how you approach your job, amazing things happen. Set yourself on a path for growth during your regular 9-to-5 grind. Have a plan and stick to it like glue. It's all about changing your mindset. You're not just working for a paycheck. You're planting seeds of success within your company. And guess what? When the company grows, they'll reward you for your part in that growth. It's like sharing the wealth you helped create. Pretty neat, right? Find companies that will allow you build wealth. In today's world, the startup and tech scene is booming, and specific skills are becoming more and more valuable. Now here's the scoop. There's a big difference between having a job and building a career, even if you're clocking in from 9 to 5. Think of it this way. Folks who are just after any job might do it because they need to pay the bills ASAP. But those who are focused on building a career, they're playing the long game. They're the strategic thinkers, the ones who plan ahead. So how do you navigate this career building journey? Research, my friend. Look for companies that not only appreciate your work, but also offer room for you to grow. It's like finding the perfect soil for your career seed to sprout and flourish. Here's another neat trick. Keep an eye out for companies that let employees own a piece of the pie. Yep, we're talking about shares in the company. Usually, there are rules like how long you've been there and some terms and conditions, but it's not impossible to become a part owner of where you work. Imagine that, owning a slice of the company you help thrive. Remember, it's not just about getting any old job. It's about planting the seeds for a rewarding career. So do your homework, aim for growth, and who knows, you might end up owning a piece of the next big thing in tech or startups. Increase your market value. Money is often the key to unlocking our goals, right? Whether you're earning a little or a lot, there's always room for more. Here's the secret sauce to boost your earning potential. It's all about having the right skills. First up, Let's talk technical skills. Think of these as your superpowers in the corporate world. They're the nitty-gritty abilities like coding, data analysis, or even specific knowledge about a certain industry. These skills make you stand out. Imagine having a toolbox full of these skills. It's like having a gold mine that companies are eager to pay for. But wait, there's more. Enter soft skills. These aren't about programming or crunching numbers. Soft skills are more about how you work with others, your communication, problem solving, and being a team player. These skills might not come with a certificate, but they're pure gold in the workplace. Why? 
because they make you someone people want to work with, someone who can lead, collaborate, and adapt like a champ. Now here's the real kicker, combining technical skills with soft skills. That's like having a winning lottery ticket. Companies love individuals who not only have the know-how, but also the ability to work smoothly with others. It's this combination that opens doors to higher salaries, better opportunities, and ultimately helps you build that wealth you've been dreaming about. So level up those technical skills, polish those soft skills, and watch as your market value shoots through the roof. Technical skills. Think of technical skills as those visible, tangible talents that practically scream out, hey, look what I can do. These skills are like the stars of your resume, the ones that anyone can recognize and appreciate immediately. Take coding, for example. When you say you're a coder, it's not just a fancy title. People can actually see what you've built, like websites, apps, or software. It's like saying, I'm a content creator, and then showing off all the awesome stuff you've made. These skills are your ticket to landing that salary. They're like the keys that unlock the door to earning money in today's world. But here's the kicker. You can supercharge your earning potential by focusing on high demand skills. Picture this. Some skills are like golden tickets, worth more than others in the job market. They're the ones that companies are practically begging for because they're so valuable. And guess what? Learning one of these high demand skills can change your whole financial game. Let me tell you about Ryan. He decided to learn one of these high in demand skills and guess what? It totally transformed his career prospects. Why? Because the future is all about tech. Think about it. Technology isn't going anywhere. It's here to stay. So here's the scoop. Start with those visible technical skills, the ones people can see and admire. But don't stop there. Dive into those high demand skills and watch as your earning power skyrockets in this tech powered world. Soft skills. Technical skills are like the ticket that gets you through the door of a job opportunity. They're the shiny tools in your toolbox that make employers notice you and say, wow, they can really do this stuff. But here's the thing. Soft skills are the secret sauce that makes your journey within that job smooth and rewarding. These skills aren't as obvious as your coding or designing prowess. Soft skills are more like your personality traits, how you interact, communicate, and work with others. Imagine being the tech whiz, but also the kind-hearted, team-loving superhero at work. Soft skills are all about being empathetic, understanding, a great listener, and having those work ethics that shine through in everything you do. Now here's the reality check. Even if you're a technical wizard, being rude, disrespectful, or hard to work with won't get you far. Your line manager won't tap you for promotions if you're causing chaos in the team. It's just how things work. That's why the golden formula for success isn't just technical skills alone. Nope. It's that perfect blend of technical skills and soft skills that propels you to the top, the C-suite level. Want to climb that corporate ladder faster? Soft skills are your secret weapon. Remember, it's not just about landing the job. It's about excelling in it and building wealth along the way. And a top-tier role like the C-suite? It can definitely fast-track your journey to financial success, but only if you've got both technical chops and those sweet, sweet, soft skills. Plan your finances. Building wealth isn't solely about aiming for that high-flying C-suite position. Sometimes, even CEOs struggle financially. So, what's the real deal? It's all about following a smart money mantra. Plan, save, invest in that precise order. Now, when's the best time to start? Right now, not when you suddenly hit it big. If you're not handling your finances well with your current income, chances are a bigger paycheck won't magically fix things. Learning how to build wealth isn't just about money. It's a mindset that guides your actions. Let's dive deeper. Take a moment to answer some critical questions. What's your monthly income? Do you create a budget and stick to it? Are you saving at least 10% of your income regularly? Do you invest your money to make it work for you? 
Are you educating yourself about various investment opportunities? Are you cautious about schemes that promise quick, unrealistic returns? How do you plan to increase your income? Answering these questions truthfully gives you a reality check on where you stand in your journey towards wealth creation. It's not just about what you earn. It's about how you manage, save, and make your money grow. Remember, building wealth isn't a one-time event. It's a series of mindful actions and decisions that lead to financial stability and growth. Start now. Assess where you're at and let these steps guide you on your path to financial success. Increase your income. The pandemic brought a huge wake-up call for many folks. It showed us how relying solely on one source of income can be pretty risky. One smart way to boost your income? Dive into the world of side hustles. These are gigs or small businesses that you do on the side without messing with your regular job. See, here's the thing. You don't have to rely solely on your 9-to-5 job for all your earnings. It's like having multiple streams flowing into your financial river. By exploring side hustles, you're diversifying your income sources. Let's say you love baking or have a knack for graphic design. You can turn those passions into money-making opportunities outside of your main job. Whether it's selling homemade cookies, doing freelance design work, tutoring, or even driving for a rideshare service. These side gigs can bring in extra cash without interfering with your primary job. This way, if one income source takes a hit, like during unexpected events such as the pandemic, you've got other streams flowing in to support you. It's all about spreading out your financial safety net and being proactive in securing your income. So explore those side hustle options and watch your income streams multiply. Today's global village, there's a world of opportunities to make extra cash. One of the simplest and coolest ways, selling what you know. We're living in a knowledge economy where people are eager to learn from experts like you. Seriously, think about the most unusual or niche topic imaginable. Chances are someone out there is offering a class or course about it. So never underestimate your knowledge or expertise. There's always someone willing to pay to learn what you know. Now let's talk about the legend himself, Warren Buffett. His story might be different from Sheryl Sandberg's, but it's filled with valuable lessons for 9 to 5 ERs. Like Sheryl, Buffett didn't hit it big by starting a company. Instead, he started by buying stocks in a company called Berkshire Hathaway. And guess what? Over time, he acquired more and more of that company until he became the majority stakeholder. What began as a textile company transformed into Buffett's investment management empire, Berkshire Hathaway. The beauty of Buffett's story? You don't have to be an entrepreneur from day one to build wealth. As an employee, you too can start investing in profitable businesses. Who knows? With the right moves, you could become a major shareholder in just a few years. The key takeaway here, it's not just about earning the title of an entrepreneur for the sake of it. Instead, it's about making your money work for you, whether it's sharing your knowledge for profit or strategically investing. The goal is to leverage your resources to create wealth. It's all about thinking smart and making those dollars work harder for you. The earlier you begin to implement the better. If your goal is to retire early and enjoy a financially secure life even after you stop working, there's no better time to start than right now. To achieve this, it's crucial to adopt the right habits and follow sound financial advice. One key habit? Living frugally. Embracing a lifestyle where you spend wisely and save diligently sets you on the path towards financial independence and the beauty of building wealth. It pays off in the long run always. Starting early is crucial because life tends to zip by quicker than we anticipate. If you're single now, down the road you might meet your life partner and tie the knot. But that's not all. You might want to expand your family and have children. More responsibilities come with these life changes. In essence, wherever you find yourself right now is the perfect starting point. Time doesn't pause for anyone. 
So kickstarting your journey to financial freedom sooner rather than later sets you on a smoother path towards achieving your long-term goals. So seize the moment, embrace those good financial habits, and watch as your efforts pay off in the future. Begin from the end. Imagine you want to own a house in, let's say, 10 years, maybe even sooner. It's time to put on your planning hat and work backward. And this approach applies to every wealth plan you have. So here's the deal. Start by visualizing the kind of person you want to be and the life you want to lead in those coming years. Then it's all about breaking those big dreams into manageable, achievable steps. Let's break it down with the house example. If owning a house in 10 years is the goal, start by acquiring the necessary knowledge. Learn about the ins and outs of home buying or investing in real estate. This might mean getting educated, taking courses, or seeking advice from experts. Then comes the crucial part, saving and investing rigorously. You'll need a solid plan to put money aside regularly, ensuring it grows over time to achieve your goal. But wait! There's more to consider. Get specific about the type of house and its location. Are you eyeing a place on the mainland or the island in Lagos? Will it be a ready-to-move-in house or a build-from-scratch project? These details help refine your plan and make it more achievable. Remember, time flies. Even if five or ten years seem far away, they'll come quicker than you think. So, break down your dreams into actionable steps Get specific about your goals and start hustling towards making those dreams a reality. Pros of working a 9 to 5 The entrepreneurial journey often seems glamorous from the outside, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Running a business involves more than just the fun aspects. While entrepreneurs enjoy the flexibility and potential rewards, there are responsibilities that can be tough. For instance, Meeting payroll each month is no walk in the park. Operational expenses, managing cash flow, and handling unforeseen issues can be stressful and demanding. Contrast this with a 9 to 5 job where you don't have to worry about the operational costs. You're part of a team right from the start, working within an established structure. Entrepreneurship, on the other hand, often begins as a solitary journey, and it's not everyone's cup of tea. It requires a unique set of skills, perseverance, and the ability to handle the isolation that can come with it. However, here's an interesting twist. Working a 9-to-5 job can actually be beneficial if you plan to venture into entrepreneurship later. It's an excellent opportunity to sharpen both your technical skills, like coding or project management, and those soft interpersonal skills like communication or teamwork. This experience can be invaluable when you eventually decide to start your own venture or a startup. So, while being an entrepreneur has its allure, it's important to recognize the challenges it brings. Embracing a 9-to-5 job can provide a solid foundation and skill set that might prove instrumental on your entrepreneurial journey down the road. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video. Subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and Lil see you in my next video.